one thing I've been impressed with in being around this young man, no situation is too big for him. Growing up being the son of Coach Prime, growing up being a four- or five-star recruit, none of it gets to him. He knows he has a lot on his shoulders, and he thinks he can deliver. Fur from Liberty in the backfield. Look out. And gets through the hands of Sanders. And look, this is something that we will have to keep our eye on. We saw the Rangers coming down yeah. in droves to start this game. And you, know you see what they were able to do on third down conversions in that 2021 spring season. Back in the pocket. Sets the pass on the outside and through the hands of his intended target, Trevante Rucker, one of those new faces we talked about coming into this program. So a three and out for the Tigers on their first possession. One of the transfers coming in to Florida A&M. Back to receive it. Shanked. And so Florida A&M will get great field position. Also realize you have to have a running game to win a championship. On third and five, they hand it off, and Bonnet finds a crease, and he's able to pick up the first down, getting close to that 10-yard line, brought down by C.J. Holmes. Hunter in motion. Moving to his right, there's McKay, and he was once again met very quickly by Antoine Owens. Owens, who has been in the face and gotten a nice push up front. The kick is up and through. Hunter's now in motion. Gaddy again unblocking, <laughs> continuing to bring the pressure. The question is, Will FAMU pick it up and figure out a different scheme to try to get number 57 in white? I mean, this this is like stealing right here. I mean. To me, I talked to him about how he's become a leader on this team. He said he comes in ready, and the guys see that. And he doesn't talk very much, but he just goes out and shows it. Well, on the return, there's Warren Newman, Mr. Excitement. Lightning in a bottle on this punt return. Watch out, he's got a man to beat. He's tripped up. Just near the 15-yard line, and Warren Newman, we saw him in the spring, and guess what? He made an introduction for this fall 2021 season. Yeah, pretty much, he's the only wide receiver that stayed. Most of the other starters transferred out of the program. Warren Newman, the senior, stayed because he's got the return capabilities, and Coach Prime realized he needed that. Then you'll see Newman make the first defender miss, and good job by the punter getting in the way to misdirect him just a little bit. Sanders looking to the right, and he's brought down. Didn't feel it at all as Marquise Bell comes from the blind side. On to attempt the field goal to try to tie this ball game at three all. The kick is up, and it's no good. So empty possession and a big win for FAMU. Second and one, falls back, finds this man. A nice catch once again made by Lanier, and Lanier is the favorite target thus far on this drive. Mount, five wide receivers. That, there should have been a penalty. That was a great call. Out of the timeout, you know Florida AM is ready, excited, trying to hit you. They delayed the offensive line coming to the line of scrimmage. Hard count. I think the young fella got him to jump off sides. Some discussion about it. DOL, defense, number 51. Five-yard penalty. The penalty results in a first down. Sanders, 4-6 of today for 47 yards. Trips to the bottom of the screen. Sanders looking left, popped by mm. Nadarius Fagan going down, but that 50-50 ball and brought down by Travante Rucker, but a penalty marker back at the 50-yard line Sanders for roughing the passer for on third down. Sanders Touchdown. again, and he's in. I mean, where is that delay coming from? I mean, the lunge, he needed about a foot, and that's a touchdown. And there's the signal right there, and touchdown, Jackson, Jackson State Jackson. gets on the board, and Shadour Sanders scoring his first collegiate touchdown. If they can increase this lead with consecutive score drives. Land trying to get to the quarterback, the pass, mm. and an open look, and the man there is Warren Newman. Newman, who we saw on special teams with that punt return. The A&M, they're trailing 7-3. Shadour Sanders in his collegiate debut and is able to zip it in as Josh Lanier was slammed down after that first down catch. Third and 15. Sanders trying to escape the pocket. 
And a Rattler defender still on his feet, loses the football, it's on the ground! FAMU. FAMU comes up with it, a huge defensive stop, not giving up on the play, just the FAMU defense. They're athletes on the other side of the field as well, and Sanders trying to just do a little bit too much, throw that football away, anything but that. And that's the growing pains that he has to go through there. And he'll learn from it. But Building a chance to gain some momentum and potentially take the lead. Terrell Jennings bounces off. He goes to the outside mm. and booming up ahead for the first down. Strong run. This first half. Second and two. McKay hands it off, a little change of speed in that backfield with Bishop Bonnet. Bonnet, who's got the speed on the outside, and he's brought down by Shiloh Sanders. They have five men in the box, so they should be able to protect them. Got it off just before the play clock expired. Third and 11, and McKay trying to chase. Nowhere to go, and brought down by Jamani Crane. With his coach, who also played the quarterback position, and Willie Simmons, Jose Romo Martinez, on to attempt the 39-yard field goal and gets it through 7-6. He's going to go to the right place with the football. Hands it off to Peyton. Peyton mm. powering with mm. some runs. Still on his feet, trucking mm. folks over along that left side pass. Mm. Midfield and a strong run. Third and three, and an important one here as Marshall gets the handoff. Land nearly had him wrapped up instead. Also opened it up throwing the football. Here's Marshall once again. Marshall brought down by Land. Eighth play of the drive. Sanders back to pass, tries to dart it in there, and the pass complete to Keith Corbin. Third and one coming up. Pickett. Oh, lost the football. Sanders kept it in another fumble, and FAMU recovers. Two fumbles, two turnovers, and the Rattlers are there. A little too much. It's third and one. Give them the football. Give it to your running back. I know what your key says. I don't know if he pulled it, if he would have got it anyway. The offensive line was taking control. This ball comes out. South, marching 100. McKay stands tall in the pocket, That's trying to cut. deliver it. Their penalty on the outside, that one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Smith and C.J. Holmes. One of their receivers the gets a safety. Defense, number three. They decide to hand it off once more to Jennings, and Jennings' strong run, pick up, runs. Field goals from 29, 21 and 39 yards. Now this one from 48. And the block. And that will end the half. It was an entertaining first half and a close fault one. Yeah, and that's just speed around the edge. And going for it without a doubt as McKay hands it off, and it's fumbled. Lost the football on the ground, and Jackson State picks it up. Would have been a change of possession, but I like the mindset of the defense. I mean, take a look at what John Huggins does when he sees the balls on the ground. He's like, hold on, let's scoop and score this thing. Don't just fall on it. We're getting the ball. Ball for Florida a &M has been the pass protection. They have not been able to keep them upright. Speaking of it, there it is. The fumble right in the face, picked up by Baron Hobson. Good Hobson job. With the ball and stripped away. What World a play, man Bishop, by Bonnet. Bishop Bonnet. What a play by Bishop Bonnet. Rips it away from the six foot plus Baron Hobson. Yeah. Let me correct, it was Houston that got the sack for the fumble, but then the freshman makes a freshman mistake. Number 47, Barry Hobson. Baron. In steady Aubrey Miller, we saw him make splash plays during the spring. Chad Hunter, who was gimpy, going to the sideline before the break with the completion. Starting field position for either team as Shador Sanders in his own mm. end zone. And how about that catch from Trevante Rucker? Rucker going up again. That's the second like 50-50 ball that we've seen from this true freshman. Where he's going with it all the way. Hold the safety in the middle. When you throw it on a rope like that, and that's when you're trying to go back show out this season. Santi Marshall and Marshall eluding some tacklers, but really nowhere to go. And Kovic, the true freshman coming in for Rashawn McKay, delivering the ball to Chad Hunter on the outside. That's good for a first down and a little bit more. Of the game, particularly this Jackson State defense. Third and 14. 
for FAMU. Maritovic with time, some protection, tough throw, and nearly corralled by Hunter. Instead, it's incomplete. That brings up fourth down. And six, fourth quarter? Not at all. I mean, particularly holding Florida and them to just six points. The throw delivered to Travante Rucker, and Rucker, who has been the, the favorite target here today, again, going right back to him after that DPI. The defense in this game, because if, if that message got through, because the defensive backs are playing lights out. Marshall on the completion and pick up the first down, pushed out by Derek Mayweather. Big fourth down here. The handoff and no. the big stop up front from FAMU stuffing them. Nowhere to go. To take a shot deep third outside, bottom of your screen. Here it is going back to Hunter. Hunter sure. near that first down marker, and let's see where they spot it. And no. it doesn't look favorable. FAMU's last two drives ended on downs, and Jackson State was able to spoil the debut for Florida AM in the SWAC. Shadour Sanders getting his first collegiate win as the starting quarterback in Jackson State. He's able to down it seven to six in a tight ball game here in this Denny's Orange Blossom Classic.